Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike, welcome to my raceway. Today we'll be featuring a timed event. My name is Daniel and I'll be your host. Our racing medium consists of an 11 foot track start to finish courtesy of Hot Wheels. Today's heads up racing will be sanctioned by Dragon Racing Systems. Announcing the contestants. The green corner. This awesome sight. Definitely not a street car. The Green Machine. Also starring this Italian sports car. Engine in the back. Makes me think it's a Ferrari. Maybe a Lamborghini. Maserati. But for now we're just going to call it number nine. And in the purple corner. This cool guy truck with lift kit. 18 inch scale, low profile wheels. Sweet. Alright, it's race time. Okay, first thing I want to do is set up a push button start. And we do that by running a fictitious race just to get some numbers on the, on the system. So now we can go ahead, your stage lights work all the time, so we can go ahead and stage our cars for the next race without resetting the machine. Uh, we're going to have a green machine in the left lane, and we're going to run him against the truck as our first race. All right, fire in the hole. Oh, the truck with a snappy one, two, three, and a three. And the, uh, the green machine didn't do too bad with the 124 either, so that was a sweet race. So let's make it fair, we'll switch lanes. Okay, as you can see, we've got the green machine over there in the right lane. Let's do it again. Ah, that truck's unbeatable today. 124 and a 3, a little bit slower, but still, nice. But look at a 124 and a 2. How did that happen? How did the slower, by one thousandth of a second, how did that happen? Well, that's what we call a whole shot win. This, this, what is this? The truck is going to be faster out of the hole. 164 against a 170, so it was six one thousandths faster. Although the other car actually ran down the track faster by one thousandths of a second, it started out slower. And why? We'll get to that. Uh, I asked myself the same question. But anyway, we're moving on now. The truck's a solid winner here. So the next up, I'm going to introduce the number nine car. All right, and on we go. Number nine. Staging up in the left lane. It's rock and roll. Ooh. That's tight. Ah, oh, nice. Sweet. 123. That truck seems to really like that right lane. Anyway, the truck is, is 0 and 3 now. Let's make it fair and okay. switch them up. We got the truck in the, in the left lane. He takes it again. He's unstoppable. 123.5 running real consistent against a 124, which is also sweet. So I guess the big, the big competition now is going to be for second place. Okay, we got number 9 in the left lane and the green machine in the other lane. Oh man, that, that looked a lot closer than it ended up being, but the green machine took it over there in the right lane. Switch them up. Okay, we had a little camera mishap there, but the result was the same. The green machine, you can see one there, but we'll run it again just for the sake of the video. Yeah, he won it a little better that time. He was 122.9, that's the record of the day. So why are these times fluctuating like that in a 123.0? Well, I've watched so many of these videos on Hot Wheels on YouTube and so many of these Hot Wheel races and people just go up and they just haphazardly set the cars in the trough and the key is there and we'll get down to the science of that right now. One of the things I observed the first day is that if I put the car in crooked It reflects in a, a much slower time. And if I put the car in straight and centered, I get a considerably better time. And if I push the car all the way over to one side and use the side rail to 
make it as straight as it can be. And I end up with optimum performance. But overall, from yesterday, my times are overall slower. So that tells me that my, my track has probably got some dust on it. Picked up some dust in just one day. My windows are busted out up here and you can hear the traffic going by and it just, this room gets dusty really easy. But once you can, uh, once you can measure performance, it, it just never ends from there. And it just changes the whole game into more of a sport. And whenever there's a, you know, like in any sport, you, if you eliminate variables, you know, it's just, it just becomes a, a science. There's a certain amount of science that you can apply to it. And there's some other things just in doing this little experiment that I figured out too. You see how crooked that bar can get there? The green car stages first. You gotta, you gotta take note of that because that's gonna affect your times and you're gonna want to straighten that out every time. But we'll keep an eye on it anyway. And there's another variable you need to be aware of, and that's the speed in which you raise the gate. You're probably going to want to snap it back as fast as possible because there's yet another variable in the uh, profile of the cars. I, I prefer the pin that goes down, and I'm going to look for one next time I'm in Bangkok, but uh, the profile of the cars will deeply affect the times if this is, if this is pulled up just too slowly. You need to get some snap on there. Without, without breaking it. For instance, uh, can't wait to see how this bread box does. Isn't that cool? But that's a high profile box. So anyway, so then there's that. One last thing. I just wanted to show how easy it is to install these eyes into a Hot Wheels track. It's so easy that I'm going to uh, time it. All you need is a bit. Drill and a block of wood. And this is a two millimeter bit. All right. Thirty five point three six seconds. Okay, but do they work? Oh. Yeah, they work. And then it detects all four of my fingers. So there you go. Oh, and one last final note. I didn't know why I meant to be little or, or put down the Hot Wheels starting gate. That, that, when they designed that, the manufacturer didn't intend it to be uh, dissected and scrutinized like that. It's a great little product. It's durable. It does what it says it will do, and it's uh, affordable. You can't ask for more than that, right? Okay, I'll see you guys at the races. Thank you and good night.